Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. This is David, the financial ambassador Leach. I'm going to help you win more deals with less effort. All right. I'm actually, I'm back. I'm starting my lunch and learns on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And this week we're going to actually, it's going to probably take in the next week, but I'm going to help you win more deals faster with less effort as I talk about Grant Cardone's sales process, okay? And being that is Motivational Monday, I'm actually going to skip part one and jump to part two because it's going to be talking about attitude, okay? I'm only going to be about five or 10 minutes of your time, and I hope you get some value from this. If you want to increase your income, do me a favor, put a one down in a comment, and I'm going to show you how we're going to help you do that. But before we do that, I'm actually going to do an intro for some of you that may not know who Grant Cardone is. Let's start right here. OK, you know, my mentor is Grant Cardone. Uh, he's an internationally renowned business and sales expert, author of eight sales and business books, a real estate investor and a philanthropist. And I'm going to be your trainer, David Leach. I'm a Grant Cardone licensee and business coach, certified, actually. I need to update this slide. I'm also 10X marketing certified and a certified credit consultant. So as I stated, we're going to teach about how to win more deals faster with less effort as taught by Grant Cardone, one of the number one sales trainers in the world, over 35 years experience. Uh, I'm going to scan through this real quick. Uh, number one on Forbes list of 25 marketing Influences to watch, best selling author of several books, including the 10x rule, the only difference between success and failure. Seven of his privately held companies have annual incomes or revenues exceeding a hundred million dollars. So, what's the secret to closing more deals? If you know what it is, is it talent or is it personality? If you think you know what it is, drop down in the comments. What's the secret to closing more deals? Talent or personality, okay? So sales is a process, and this training is going to be your playbook. You want to learn these five steps inside and out, and we're actually just going to touch on it and everything. I'm actually having a sales execution workshop September 15th and 16th, which is actually going to be a deep dive into the sales process, covering scripts, covering follow-up handling objections. If you want to know more about that, drop down in the comments work, workshop and I'll send you the registration link where it actually is a 90% off the normal price. Now, the Cardone active approach to learning, I want you to know, I want you to watch and listen actively. I want you to take some notes, participate in the exercises. I'm actually, there is a workbook uh, for this. If you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, and I can send you a link for that as well. Commit to teaching at least one thing to someone else. That's what you're going to learn today. So like I said, we're going to skip part one. Let me, let me go out. We're going to jump. We're going to do part one on Wednesday. I'm going to jump ahead to part two. Like I said, because it's Motivational Monday, we need to get that mind right, right? So part two is setting the foundation, which is your attitude. So what is attitude? If you know what attitude is, drop drop it in the comments what you think attitude is. So you only need one attitude, and that's a great one. To complete the package, you need to dress like a winner, carry yourself like a winner, have that light in your eyes, have a smile on your face. You know, always, like I said, Motivational Monday, smile at somebody. You know, you might make somebody's day just by a smile and keep service in your heart. Four reasons service thing didn't get result, didn't get results. You didn't stay with it long enough. You came up just short of really, really serving people. You weren't genuine in your service. And it's funny, I'm going to talk about genuine in your service. I actually go to a Waffle House on a regular pretty much. And the people know me. Some of the people that know me work there. I always go there to get my coffee, right? So I went there uh, Saturday... Sunday morning, early Sunday morning, it was crowded. And uh, the guy seen me and he said he just wanted coffee. So I guess the, it was, like I said, it was crowded. And the girl didn't really 
pay him no mind. So he literally, he was a cook and he actually stopped what he was doing and got my coffee. So my coffee was only $3 and everything, but I gave him a $10 tip just because of his service. You know, stop what he's doing. No, I was a regular because it only take like five minutes to make some coffee, right? So he got a $10 tip from that. So you quit being interested in the service angle, okay? So keeping service in your heart. Basically, whoop, let me back up. Hold on. I went too fast. Let me back up. Keeping service in your heart. Let people know they're being taken care of and not being taken advantage of. People don't want to be sold. People want to be service. You need to keep that in mind. When you make your attitude one of service, the selling will take care of itself. So you always want to have a great attitude. So how to deliver a great attitude verbally? Eliminate I can't and we won't. You don't want to tell somebody that you can't do something if you're trying to service them, right? You want to replace it with things like can do, excellent, no problem, you got it, be happy to, great, super, hey, whatever you want, I'm here to get it for you. Look, I'm here to serve you, not sell you. I agree with you, sir. You're right. I love that idea. Just the little word tracks and everything can help you close more deals with less effort. A great attitude is the best way to stand out from your competition. How do you keep a great attitude? How do you stay positive? Well, your attitude is a reflection of your attitude is determined by your thoughts. You know, what you think is how you're going to react. Okay. So you got to have a positive attitude because it's going to reflect what you do. Your thoughts are determined by the content of your mind. You want to stay positive. Get rid of those negative thoughts, negative people. The content of your mind is determined by the environment around you. Seven tricks for staying positive. Okay. Number one, write down your goals. Every, oops, I'm going too fast. See, I'm moving too fast. Let me back up. Write down your goals every morning. Work out every day. Finish things left undone. Number four, treat everyone with a great attitude. Number five, make a gratitude list on a daily basis. Put a sign up in your office. No negativity allowed. Like, see... I don't know if you can see it, but these uh, bands I have, this one says, be positive. And on the back, it says, no negativity allowed. It just reminds me to keep a positive uh, uh, mindset. And number seven, get rid of people in your life who are not positive. Y'all already know negative people can be toxic and they definitely drain you. So what's the most important sale that you ever make? Guess what? If you know what that is, drop it down in the comments. What's the most important sale that you will ever make? Guess what? It's yourself. Always remember, you got to sell your, you got to be sold on yourself before you can sell anybody else. Okay. So your turn. Why is my product the best? Why is my company the best? Why me? Why should somebody work with me? So work with that on your lunch today. Like I said, that was just a, a snippet and everything of this series that I'm going to be sharing or covering these next few weeks is how to win more deals faster with less effort. So I hope you got some value from that little snippet, Lunch and Learn today. We'll go back on Wednesday, do part one, and we'll do part three on Friday. So everybody have an amazing day. Put a five down in the comments if you felt you got some value from that and look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. And once again, we're going to be covering the sales process, but we're going to be going a whole lot. I'm going to be going in a whole lot deeper on uh, September 15th and 16th with a sales execution workshop as taught by Grant Cardone and his team. I've been to it several times. So being that I am a 10X certified business coach, I'm certified to be a facilitator of Grant Cardone's trainings. And the sales execution workshop, folks, 
90% off. I'm having a summer, summer blowout sale. So you want to jump on that as soon as possible. So everybody have an amazing day. And once again, thanks for tuning in. Take care.